The East Coast are saying, Sinileo Kuza Kukarinene, which means, we are waiting for something that will never happen, is based on the life of Chief Makanda or Makanda Kanland, as he was left-handed. Makanda was a Kosa warrior prophet who united a large body of the Western Kosa to expel the British who had invaded the territory. Makanda was born near the coast around 1780 in the Itlek area. His father was a Kosa named Kuala of the Kwekha clan, and his mother was a Khoi Khoi, also known as Amatwa of the Kunukwebe clan. After Makanda's father died, when he was a young boy, he was brought up by his mother, strongly influenced by her village's Khoi traditions. His mother was a spiritual diviner and medicine woman. Makanda was later recognized as an Inyanga, which seemed rooted in the early guidance of his mother and her traditions. Religion for the Amakosa was part of their day-to-day -day activities and deeply connected to the land that they lived on and used to sustain their livelihoods and institutions. They believed in Kamad and ancestors. Diviners were individuals chosen by the ancestors and accepted by the people to communicate with the ancestors. Makanda viewed the emerging conflict between European and African worldviews as a contest between Tito, the Christian god of the white colonizers, and Kamata, the god of the Kosa people. He could see that Christianity as presented by the missionaries was tarnished with imperialistic intentions, that of making the Amakosa subordinate to the Europeans, socially, politically, and spiritually. Having grown up in areas of Africana farmers, he had first-hand knowledge of their mistreatment of Khoi or Amato people. Makanda and all of the Amakosa were opposed to the encroachment of European settlers in the region, which had begun when Africana jet boers from the Cape Colony started migrating into their lands and culminated in the expulsion of 20,000 Khosa from the Sur Felt in 18... In 1819, when a British-led force commanded by Colonel Thomas Raritan seized 23,000 head of stolen cattle from Chief Nzambi's people. Makanda urged all the Kosa to unite to try to drive British forces out of the land once and for all. As Inyanga, Makanda advised Nzambi that the gods would be on their side if they chose to attack the British garrison in the settlement of Grimstown in broad daylight. Nzambi took Makanda's advice and on 2 April 1819, Makanda led a raid on Grimstown in broad daylight with a force of about 10,000 men, all under the overall command of Nzambi's son, Ntushane. They were accompanied by women and children prepared to occupy Grimstown after the battle. The British garrison, along with the Khoi group led by Jan Pusak, was able to repulse the attack. Defeated by British firepower, Makana and the Nzambi surrendered. It is often said that if it had been an attack at night, the outcome may have been different. Chief Makana was imprisoned on Robben Island without a trial or sentencing. He was held separate from other prisoners who feared that he would incite them to rebel. On 25 December 1808, he attempted to escape with 30 other prisoners but would capsize and drown. Only four of the escapees survived the crossing. There were no autopsy records, which were normally meticulous. The colonial government made no formal notice about his death and did not return Makanda's body to his people, let alone inform them of his death or make any statements. Since he had promised his people he would never abandon them, they continued to hope for his return for another 50 years before funeral rites were observed. Makanda serves as an example of what an early liberation struggle looked like in relation to the onslaught of colonialism. He played a significant role in the resistance against British colonial expansion and became a symbol of resistance and resilience for the Kosa people. His resistance against British colonization represents the struggle for independence, self-determination, and the preservation of indigenous culture. Makanda's name has been immortalized in various ways, including the renaming of Grahamstown to Makanda in 2018 in honor of his courageous role in the history of South Africa.